What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today I'm working on my 2004 Chevy 2500 6.0 gas engine. Uh, we're going to be replacing the, the oil pump on this truck. Um, these trucks are known to for the fuel for the oil pump to fail every now and then. So the procedures for this 6.0 is the same thing, the 6.0, 5.3, 4.8, anything with a Chevy V8 engine is basically the same thing. Good thing about this is that the... Uh, the good thing about this is that the oil pump is actually in the front of the timing chain so we don't have to mess with the timing chain we just have to get in there take the lid off replace the pump and and then get back on our way and test it out after that so if you need to do this on your vehicle stay tuned okay so to get started um i need to remove the intake hose so you're just gonna disconnect it from here from there pull it out i'm gonna remove the fan shroud um, it only has like a 10 millimeter bolt here and one on the other side and I should be able just to remove that. Okay, so here we are. I took off the hose that goes from the throttle body uh, to the mass airflow sensor. Um, the, fan, the fan shroud comes with two pieces. There is the bottom piece right here. Um, and then the top piece has those 10 millimeter bolts that go here. And then it has two clips, uh, one right there and one right there. Same thing on the other side, one right there, one right there. And after that, you can just move this hose out of the way and pull it out. We're gonna eventually move this hose out too because we have to take off the water pump to get to the front timing cover. But I just wanted to show you guys how to take off the fan clutch. And I'm using this tool right here. I will show you guys how to use it in a second. Um, if you can see this tool here has um, like little keys you can put in there. And then your water pump has little holes. So basically you latch this to the holes on either side. So you can latch it from both sides. And then you get the, the wrench in here on this big old nut from the um, from the fan clutch. And you pull and you twist the fan clutch towards the left. And then you should be able to pull it out. You're using this to hold the, the pulley itself while you're holding while you're moving the fan clutch that way. And you pull it out but i'll show you guys how i did it the kit that i used is this one right here gear wrench and that's a model number right there i'll try to find a link for it um and put it right there big old nut after i'm holding it with that i use this one which is a 36 millimeter which like i said it comes on the kit so let me show you guys how i took it off so to use this tool um we're gonna grab like i said these little clips here and put them in the holes that go on the on the pulley and it has like four holes so you can put one on either side okay so right there it's inside the pulley so if i turn this it's gonna turn the entire pulley right so right this one is used to hold the pulley so then we use this one to grab the nut and then with this one we turn the nut this way um right now I already got it loose so it's loose right now but normally it's really hard so you gotta like prop it that way but that is it Okay, here all we gotta do is turn the, the fan to the left. Um, just hold it so it doesn't fall and damage our radiator. But that is it, that is how we're gonna remove our fan. And then from here, I'm gonna take off my belt. Um, and this, the, the bottom piece of this, it just pulls straight out, but we have to move this out of the way first. Here we are, took off the upper radiator hose. I moved it off to the side. Took off the lower one, moved it off to this side over here. And then the two that come from the um, heater core, I took them off, I just kind of clinked them to the side. Um, the water pump has three bolts, 10 millimeters, one, two, three, and then three on this side. It's already loose, so just ready for me to pull it out. Um, and then I just, I'm just gonna let it drain probably overnight to make sure I don't have a big old mess. But after that, I'm just gonna take off this the pulley and then the, the, the timing cover is right here. So there's not much to it. After that, it's just getting the, bolt, the bolts out and everything. But um, that's really what I want to show you guys. The timing cover and the, the um, oil pump removal. But there it goes. Okay, so here we are. This is the timing belt cover, timing chain cover. We got to remove it. Um, this is the oil pump right here. Um, this groove here. It's 10 millimeter bolts all around. So we have a couple here. We're gonna have two in the bottom facing up that we can probably still get here through here with a ratchet ratchet. Um, we just have to remove that um, wire harness out of the way. It's gonna have like a clip on this side, I believe. And then we just pop it out. 
but it's just 10 millimeter bolts all around and then we can pull it right out okay here it is the oil pump i took off the cover that goes around here and um, the oil pump all these bolts here are also 10 millimeter bolts all around um it has four 10 millimeter bolts holding the oil pump together also i thought i was going to be able to get it from up here but it has a bolt down here holding the oil screen that i'm going to have to take off the oil pan if you want to know how to take off the oil pan i will put it in the i card another video that i made taking off the oil pan on this vehicle specifically um the four-wheel drive chevy or four-wheel drive suburban whatever you're doing it on it's gonna be a bit harder because you need to uh, lower the front differential. But I will link the video for the oil pan removal and reinstallation from another video that I made. I just don't wanna put it on this video. But after I do that, I'm gonna come back up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace the oil pump because I can't get it off without that spigot. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys here is under the vehicle. I'm not ready to go off the oil pan, um, but down there, if you guys can see right there right there that's where that um the bolt went um that holds the the oil screen to the oil pump um like i said i will put a link to the video i made on how to remove this oil pump i just wanted to do it so i could do it a little bit quicker um but there it is just so you guys know okay so here we are i did have to take off the the oil screen um just so i can replace the gasket too here is the oil pump just slide it right out i don't know where the my gasket is at oh yeah the gasket's in there really messed up but there it is for those of you guys that don't know when it sucks up the air the oil from the bottom it only throws it up through here and it has no gaskets at all where it goes into the 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 block so we're just gonna put this on the guide and that should be everything there it goes that's it so now i'm just gonna tighten this up real quick and i'm gonna go put the oil screen back on so i can put the new gasket on the oil screen but I just want to put this on so it doesn't move. But that is it. New oil pump is on. guys that is it that is how you get to the oil pump how to replace the oil pump um at the beginning i didn't think i was gonna have to remove the oil pan but as you guys saw i did i did need to remove the oil pan like i said i will link put it on the icard and also i'll put it in the description the video of how i removed the oil pan on this vehicle a long time ago i just didn't want to remake that again so if you guys already have a video on it um so you're gonna have to remove the oil pan also to get to it um but now i'm gonna have to now 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 i'm just gonna work my way back replace all the gaskets put everything back in place replace the o-ring that goes on the screen on the bottom and that should be everything right, guys i really hope you guys find this video helpful don't forget to thumbs up subscribe hit that bell for me share the channel i will catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching you guys have yourselves great day